myth out there that um, networking is only for some like Uber geeks to get amongst. Um, I'm just going to tell you that that's not the case. I've been um, in communications for quite a long time now, however, not specifically networking. And I've just passed a CCNA. I'm not particularly clever or geeky. Um, I studied and I passed the course and I think I've taken quite a lot of it in and I understand it. Um, it takes me a long time to learn stuff a lot like, but when I do learn it, I, I understand it. And I think I've got a, a way of teaching you and keeping it simple. So if you want to become a network engineer, change career path, anything like that, then you can follow my videos. My aim is to give you guys and girls a few hints and tips that will get you on your way with um, studying for CCNA. Is it hard? I wouldn't say it's hard, but I'd say it's a lot of work. Um, you can't sort of just cram for the exam, you need to understand it. If you enjoy it, it's going to sink in a little bit more. Um, if, you, if you just cram for the exam and do the questions to pass the test, then it's not going to help you down the line. On this channel, I'm going to try and um, explain the concepts that are found in ISMD 1 and 2. So there are two exams you need for a CCNA. We're going to do some practice labs. We're going to use Packet Tracer, which is a software um, which allows you to get on the command line of routes and switches. I'm going to explain how you can build your own lab. If you wanted to go down that route, that's personally what I did. Um, I do think it gives you a bit more practical experience. I'm going to explain the concepts of ICMD 1 and 2 and keep it as simple as I can. Um, hopefully, the way I relay the information, you'll be able to actually understand networking a little bit better. It won't be scary for you, and you'll be able to study um, and gain that qualification. So what I'm going to talk about on the video in a minute is. Um, the different routes that you can go with Cisco, the qualifications they offer. Uh, we're going to look at the salaries, why would you want to get into this sort of field? Um, there is a financial incentive, there are some good jobs out there. And I'm going to give you a few tips on what you can do um, to help with your study. Let's get started. So this is the Cisco qualifications um, triangle that they always show you on the courses and all that sort of thing. So we've got from the bottom all the way to the top We've got the entry level qualifications at the bottom, so that's the CSENT, so that's a prerequisite that you need to do um, before you can do the other qualifications. Above that, that's also known as ICND 1. Above that, we've got ICND 2. So these two qualifications together give you the CCNA qualification in routing and switching. Okay, once you've done them, you can then progress if you want to further up the triangle to CCMP or you can go sideways at CCNA level and do further qualifications such as um, CCNA security, uh, wireless um, and a couple of others and then again you can go up do CCMP, security, wireless and you can also carry on up if you want to and become a CCIE let's think of that as having sort of a PhD in Cisco obviously all these uh, qualifications are proprietary so you know they won't help you well they're not um, specifically designed for sort of Juniper or HP networking equipment it's purely for Cisco and it is Cisco proprietary however they are the market leaders at the moment for sort of networking gear and it is you know an excellent uh, qualification to have um, if you just look at um, this web page that I've got here, this web page shows you all the different qualifications that you can get from the Cisco website. Um, we've got the entry level, the associate level, which is CCNA basically, the professional level, which is CCMP, and then the expert level, which refers back to the CCIE on that triangle. So down on the left hand side, these are the CSENT qualifications that you can get, um, and obviously in the different subjects, I've just done the CCNA routing and switching. So obviously you do the CSENT prior to that, which is ICND1, ICND2, and then that gives you that qualification. Now I could move up or down and do any of these subjects on the CCNA level, or I could progress and start doing CCMP, which is um, seen as a higher level. Now, the advantages and disadvantages of both obviously this is easier this is a little bit harder um, if you do take an exam the, well what I should say is the exams last for three years okay each exam lasts for three years now if you do any exam equal to 
or greater than the exam that you've just done, it renews it for another three years. You can also sit the same exam if you wanted to. However, most people don't tend to do that because you may as well just do another exam and get another qualification and renew them all at the same time. Hope that makes sense. So looking at potential jobs out there for CCNEs, um, I just did a quick search on Indeed um, and obviously this is one of the first ones that comes up. 34 to 36,000 pounds a year. Um, gives us some criteria there. The only qualifications they're looking for is CCNA, sort of uh, level net networking qualifications. So you can see the salaries are pretty good. Um, some of the other jobs, I'm not gonna lie, they probably, you know, a lot of people don't want you to just have CCNA, they want it, you to have other qualifications as well. However, you know, CCNA is a good starting point. As you can see, the qualifications for sort of network engineers, um, the range so you're looking at anywhere from 20,000 to 30,000 for probably CCNA depending on experience a couple of quick tools that I want to talk about or things that can help you out while you're studying is this CCNA um, book it's the official cert guide make sure you get the right one it's uh, 100 105 at the moment um, it comes in two books you get one for ICND 1 and one for ICND 2 um, you can get it for about £30 on Amazon just try and make sure you get the one with the CD still inside because um, that CD comes with test questions practice test questions you get about 380 and they are extremely worthwhile um, do you need to do a CCNA course I've just done a fast track course with um, a company over seven days and yeah it was hard going for seven days i already knew a fair bit of the information before i went down i wouldn't recommend doing a fast track course if you don't know anything about it but maybe you could use that to supplement your learning so if you could learn um the ccna syllabus from videos like this and by looking at the books and then go on a fast track course that'll do you in good stead however i wouldn't say you need to they are expensive they're about four and a half thousand pounds so you know it is expensive you can self-study it no doubt self-study watching videos like my videos watching other people's videos reading the books it might take you a little bit longer but you could realistic you could do it within a month um, and then gain the qualification and you can do that for all the different CCNA qualifications okay another tool that is going to be very useful for you is this packet tracer if you just google um, Cisco packet tracer it'll, so you'll find it it's on the um, network network academy website Cisco and um, you do need to enroll onto the course it's free um, but once you enroll you just give you a few details and then you'll be able to download packet tracer if you don't want to do that for any reason then if you just do a search around Google and you'll probably be able to find it from a third party website. However, the official version is the most up to date version and they're always releasing new stuff. And I'm gonna do further videos on Packet Tracer, extremely useful tool. If you can't, it's completely free to use and it allows you to get into the command line as if you're physically sat on a router or a switch. And there are other ways you can do um, the practical side. So you could build your own home lab, which home lab, which I'm going to go into in further detail um, in other videos. But for a good starting point, to see if you like it, um, to see if you can sort of you want to progress with it, then I would suggest just getting the free packet tracer and having a play with it. Okay, guys, that's it for now. Um, if you liked what you saw, if you like the information, and if you want to find out more, get some free CCNA training. Um, then please like and subscribe the video just so that I know um, get a little bit of feedback and see if there is an interest out there for it um, and then I'll catch you on the next one